the Chicago Fire hosting Inter Miami with fewer than three weeks to go in the regular season. Mathematically, neither team can be eliminated tonight, but a loser could be done or have a really, really tall mountain to climb. Chicago Fire's got to get to 50,000 plus in Soldier Field tonight behind them and put on a show tonight. the 2023 Leagues Cup that features Major League Soccer and Mexico's Liga MX. But for the very first time, we'll feature every team from both leagues taking part in it. Manager Frank Klopas believes it's a unique opportunity for the Fire, both now and to aid their finish to the MLS season. Hey, we're focused, we're concentrated. Oh, it's another opportunity. We gotta come out with energy. Make sure we're disciplined, Make sure we're organized and we're together, guys. When we go, we all go together. Communicate, let's leave everything on the field. Play smart, play hard, most important, play together. Right, guys? Let's go, vamos, Rafa. Hey, guys, it doesn't matter if it's a preseason game, MLS game, or League Cup game. You want to win every game, okay? Vamos, vamos, let's go. Diedas bypassed the shot. Now through two defenders, penalty! Draws the PK and it's slammed in. Now here's a cross roll in by Navarro. There's a hand to it by Dane St. Clair. There's a follow up at the back post. And this game keeps going back and forth. Now it's Shakiri and then Pineda. And then trying to steer it on goal. The snap header is in for Kai Kamara. He punishes Minnesota. That is the game. And it is a comeback win by Chicago Fire. for the shootout after a 1-1 90 minutes between Puebla and Chicago Fire. The team from Liga MX salvages something from their trip to League's Cup 2020. That's gonna be it, final whistle's gone. So a battling performance by Club America. I think when you play great competition like teams from Liga and Mexi, and I think it brings the best out of players. Every time we step on the field, it was an opportunity to grow. We know, and I told them, that the last 11 games will be the hardest in the season. We did a great job to put ourselves in a great spot. Now. Stay humble and keep working hard because everything we've done comes from hard work and belief. And uh, you know how easy it is to lose that if, uh, if you don't continue to prepare and work hard. So that's the focus that I left the team with today. No property, there was no gravel, no buildings. There was a barn that was hit by a tornado that was crooked and a dilapidated house. We felt God planted a seed in our life and we were just watering. Navarro Farm is a farm for individuals with different abilities, mainly special needs, and we're a farm that teaches individuals how to farm, how to cook, how to harvest, and give them a sense of purpose and, and accomplishment. We're doing a little inclusion, which is awesome, what we love. We do that with Special Olympics, we do it at our farm, and we're just so blessed that Chicago Fire would come out and spend time with us and teach our individuals soccer skills, and we taught them how to farm. They're pretty impressive gardeners. So I'll go, they were teaching us, you know, how to pick the squash. They were kind of giving us a tour of the various vegetables and things that, even products that make hot sauce and honeys and all this stuff. So it's quite the ecosystem here and it's cool to have the kids help us navigate the farm. What's your favorite color? We gotta grab a good one. Orange, green, orange. All right, let's see, you wanna grab that one? Go get the ball, go get the ball. There we go. Okay, now you gotta kick it back. 
Let's see the kickball kick. You see the smile on the kids' faces when they get to meet us, and they probably aren't as aware of the smile that it puts on our face when we get to meet all them and hang out with them and see what they get to do on a, a daily basis. So it's a very cool setup they have here, and hopefully they'll have me back. We didn't have a plan. We were just planting a seed and watering it. But now that it's grown, our plan now is we have a farmer program so we're teaching them how to be independent. We're teaching them life skills here every day. We're teaching them how to work with their community. We're teaching them how to ring out. We're teaching them how to use the life skills so they can better their lives in the future and live independently. And it all starts surprisingly on a farm. Damien is an incredible guy. This is him and his family's farm and, and they have a child who has Down syndrome and it sounded like an eye-opening experience for them. They wanted to sort of build out this farm that they just got a couple years ago and and invite in other families or kids who have Down syndrome and sort of create a community and it's super cool. It's a heartwarming experience to be down here and um, you can tell how much the kids like it. They all love hanging out with each other so uh, it's been a touching day for sure. Ten. Oh, 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 winner. Ten. Winner. This is the winner because they're at 10 to 12. Yeah. Today, the Chicago Fire is here volunteering with Cradles to Crayons. It's extremely important for the fire organization to give back to the community, and we pride ourselves on being able to work with youth and everyone throughout the city across all aspects of life. Cradles to Crayons, we are an organization dedicated to ensuring that children from 0 to 12 living in homeless or low-income situations have the basic essentials they need to thrive. And those basic essentials are clothing, shoes, hygiene products, diapers, wipes, and back-to-school supplies in the form of backpacks. So my main role today was sorting through clothes, picking out outfits for sizes 10 to 12 girls. There's a lot of staff members that came out today. It's an awesome organization. Learning about them and what they do, the impact that they make for kids, just giving them things that they need every day, shoes, books, clothes. So it really makes a difference in their lives. We run our Giving Factory, which is where we do our collection, sorting, sizing, and getting out into the community. We need about 15,000 volunteers every year to come to our Giving Factory at Addison and Western. We take in gently used and brand new clothing, new school supplies, new socks, underwear, pajamas, and we collect all of that up through our volunteers, and then they go out to about 70 plus service partners throughout the Chicagoland area. Good literature, quality read, our goal is to make sure that no child in the Chicagoland area um, suffers from clothing insecurity. We want to make sure that kids are set off right and they have the social emotional support and the foundations to make sure that they can thrive. Being able to be here today and have everyone from the office, including first team, leadership, and everyone at the club to give back is tremendous. I've been on the team for about four years now and there's always been a big push to try and make a difference in the community and I think this club's all about making a positive impact. One, two, three. Red Bull Arena and we're gonna watch him win. I can't wait. Yeah. Three nothing Red Bulls. Uh, Barlow puts in a brace and one for Manuel. Three one Red Bulls. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a very good game. Red Bull Nation! Woo! Let's go, Red Bulls! We have to go on the field with strong. We gotta go freaking strong and believe, guys. All right, as a team, like we talked about, everything on the field, everything, leave everything on the field today. There's no losing today, yeah? I want three points from everybody, but it starts. We have to suffer everybody together from the first second, eh? Come on, come on, come on. We don't three. One, two, three. Please. Chicago Fire have taken two points to an available 21 after League Cup, putting themselves out of the final playoff spots. Rebels in Chicago, both being behind the playoff line, will probably need a win here tonight. Out to Duncan, a whip across back and Barlow's header. Oh, what a save from Brady! That is a huge save because this Red Bulls team has been peppering the Fire's goal all evening long. 
indeed. Oh, and Dom went flying through him, and this is going to be dangerous, and Dom's going to go here. Son and Dom already on a booking. It's a second yellow card, and the lifeline Chicago needed. And now free kick for Chicago to take advantage immediately. Shakiri's ball in. And on going for free header for Kutsias. Insult to injury for the Red Bulls. They go down to 10, and they go 1-0 down. Chested down from Nealis for Amaya to have a strike. It's off the woodwork. Through traffic, and my goodness, gets a hold of that one. It's dipping, it's spinning. Plus three, baby. Plus three. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Georgios Kutsias. Head Chicago's lone goal of the game. It's enough to get all three points and enough to draw them level for the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference as things stand right now as it finishes. 10 men, New York nil, Chicago Fire one. Field. It's Inter Miami, Chicago Fire, big three points. Tonight it's going to be exciting to have uh, a lot of local people here and uh, get a chance to see the Fire even if they're not Fire supporters, but get a chance to see the local product. I, I believe in my Chicago Fire. I think it's going to be a pretty close game. We got thousands of people. We're all happy, so whatever happens, happens, you know? Yeah. Where's Messi? Where's Messi? Is he afraid? Mm. Fire, vamos. Three points vamos right here, fire. right now. Three points, baby. Three points, playoffs. Such an important game to go. The third to last for the Chicago Fire. The fourth to last for Inter Miami in the race to the playoffs. Get the ball, play with confidence. No matter what happens, stay positive. It's always about the next play. Make the city proud, right? They expect us to leave everything on the field. We can. Every time we step out there, we play with passion. Let's step out there tonight, take advantage of this opportunity, leave everything on the field, and get three points. Oh, come, on. Oh. come on! Come on! One, two, three! Oh. In front of a sold-out Soldier Field, the Chicago Fire hosting Inter Miami with fewer than three weeks to go in the regular season. Neither team can be eliminated tonight, but it feels like, especially with results going on around the league right now, that a loser could be done or have a really, really tall mountain to climb. For the fire. Unbelievable opportunity tonight for the fire players. Here we go. Makes it to him. Send over the bar. Can Chicago take advantage? Shakiri in the middle in a dangerous spot. Still loose. Trying to put the pressure on Miami. Yes! 
amazing feeling, amazing win. We fought in massive three points. We move, we move. Three points, my man, important. Bravo! I am extremely proud of you guys and happy. We know what we can do. We know what we can do. And I know that we even got hired to go, guys, because we have quality. Believe in yourselves. You proved it tonight. All right? Enjoy this moment. I'm extremely proud of you guys because you deserve this. All right? No one believed in us, but we did. And we continued to work and fight. Now we show the whole world, but we don't stop there. All right? And that performance, guys, that were here, we got to continue to go even higher because it's in our hands. I'm proud of you guys. Excellent result tonight. All right? Enjoy the moment. How exciting is this? The playoffs. The fans here have been craving a postseason dance. Playoffs looming. Three points crucial for both Chicago and Charlotte tonight. Through the hard work of all you guys and from all of us, we created an incredible opportunity in front of us tonight, guys. We need to go out there with confidence like the last game, with belief and with hard work. This is the last game of the season at home. We have a big chance today. We can go to the playoffs, eh? Let's go and fight together, okay? We know three. One, two, three. Win. didn't have the intensity, the energy. It's a difficult one when you have at home try to finish on a positive note right now, put ourselves in a great spot, but in the end of the day, really nothing changes right now. We still have to go in the last game and try to get a result on decision day. A lot to play for in the last game. Nothing that comes easy in life is good. You have to earn everything, you have to fight for everything. There are moments where you have to suffer, but only good things happen when you suffer and you become a lot stronger. You can just see there's a huge belief with the team. In order for us to achieve our goals, we need to have a winning mentality. That's leaving everything on the field. A lot to play for on decision day. It's Kai Kamara! There's your final twist! This is our main goal that we make the playoffs. Fire on net and a goal! We have a great team of players and fighting to the playoffs and doing everything we can. Something for the training ground. Shakiri on the first time. Oh, what a hit! To see that we're still very much in it, it's exciting for us, it's exciting for the city. Carried away by a lunging Chris Brady. It's going to be a different game. We're playing on the road. It's never easy, but we're proving before that we can go in difficult places and win. for Kutsians! We've been working hard the whole season for this chance today, okay? So let's take it, man. If you want to be finished wrong, let's do it, okay? Come on! One, two, three! Does anyone want to get a goat on their back? Spence, you're up. 